President Joe Biden enters his final day in Saudi Arabia, his crucial tour of the Middle East, covering a wide range of topics on the agenda and was fraught with several oops moments, like this one right here. This is Biden's meeting with the Saudi crown prince, a fist bump coming up right there with the guy who U.S. intelligence officials say ordered the murder of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Come on, man. What kind of message does that send? Even Democrats like Adam Schiff saying the fist bump seen around the world sent the wrong message. Schiff tweeting this, if we ever need a visual reminder of the continuing grip oil rich autocrats have on U.S. foreign policy in the Middle East, we got it today. One first, one fist bump worth a thousand words. Yet Biden's trip has not yet addressed the most pressing issue facing Americans right now, outrageous fuel costs. Joining us now to talk about that is Dr. Sebastian Gorka, former White House advisor in the Trump administration and host of the Gorka Reality Check right here on Newsmax. Dr. Gorka, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Mike. Anytime. All right, Dr. Gorka. Well, President Biden has come under a lot of fire for his fist bump uh, with the Saudi crown royal prince, uh, particularly because of the brutal murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. But while he was in Israel this week, he pledged hundreds of millions of U.S. tax dollars to the Palestinians who are still paying people, paying people to kill Israelis. Does this make any sense to you? As much sense as the last 18 months can make, uh, it's another absolute embarrassment. And also from the own, their own logic, the, the, you know, the Gaia-worshipping environmentalists. So I'm, I'm waiting for the press secretary uh, of the White House or, or anybody, Pete Boot, Edge Edge, Grand Home, the energy secretary, to explain to me if the environment is so fragile, if the world is going to end in 12 years like AOC told us, why do we have to shut down oil drilling in America, but it's okay to drill in Saudi Arabia, Mike? I'm not sure I get the logic, because either drilling is bad and oil is bad, but it's okay to buy it from Saudi Arabia, but not to drill it ourselves in Alaska. Yeah, it, it makes about as much sense as the average Biden speech. Yeah, if only we, um, we had that kind of uh, rich oil here in the United States, uh, unfortunately. Well, maybe we do actually come to think of it. Uh, among the points most Americans, of course, Dr. Gorka, are focused on regarding Biden's trip to the Middle East this week is what it will mean for gas prices here in this country. Uh, Biden saying he raised the topic of production with the Saudi leaders, but he couldn't help but take another swipe at small businesses here in the U.S. Take a listen. On gas prices, if I may, you said that we'll see relief at some point in the not too distant future. What is the message to Americans who are looking for that relief now? When should they expect to see a real change in prices, though they've already well, been, been coming a real down? Change. They've right. already been coming down. That's right. They've been coming down every single day, the best of my knowledge. When will we see the impact of this visit? I suspect you won't see that for another a couple weeks. And, 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 we'll, and we'll see more when we see gas stations start to lower their price consistent with what they're paying for the oil. Dr. Gorka, he's still blaming gas station owners. Uh, why is he doing this? Because he's a cretin. Because he knows nothing about economics. It's weird. I mean, again, let's apply some logic. Why, why weren't gas stations doing this when we were in the White House? Did they suddenly get greedy? Why didn't they make up gas prices when President Trump was in the Oval Office? because they can't make it up. It's a global market. If you stop making oil here, you become dependent upon OPEC. You go groveling to a socialist state like Venezuela. The idea that they're just sitting back at, at, at some evil gas station conference saying, mm -hmm, yeah, let's double the price of gas in America. There's, it's no surprise. We saw the report this week. The majority of people in this administration have never, ever worked, Mike, in the private sector. So why would they know how supply and demand, in fact, works? The real world where we live in, where we have to buy the gas at market prices. Yeah, it, it, Biden didn't even receive any commitments from Saudi Arabia to increase oil production, Dr. Gorka. Uh, the main deliverable that could have helped uh, his address uh, here for his this, the reason for his entire trip, many would say. Uh, he also made no significant progress towards a resolution between the Israelis and Palestinians. So did this trip accomplish anything? 
Uh, it got him out of the country, and the longer he's out of the country, the better for Americans. I mean, really, I, I, if I were if I were Biden, if I just had announced 9.1 percent inflation, 900,000 uh, gotaways at the border, two million illegal immigrants processed, I probably want to run away as well. The trouble is uh, he's coming back home. So it's like, I'm going to edit this for the faint-hearted, but as his former boss Obama said, Obama said, never underestimate Joe's capacity to F things up. That's what Obama, not, not me, not Donald Trump, Obama, his boss said, and in the last 18 months, uh, he has demonstrated that capacity. That's where you learned that fist bump as well. Uh, Dr. Sebastian <laughs> right, Gorka, exactly. appreciate your time today. Thanks for joining thing. us. Anybody fist bumps with me, I say, no, Obama did that. Shake my hand. <laughs>